Dark Brother. Oh, oh. I... My goodness, you're really here. What I need, what I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin, Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Excellent. But, well, there is... If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. How can I argue with that? Give me some meat, you fat lord. It would seem so. I, said, Give me some meat. I went to Windhelm to see the Shatter Shields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning, I met Elaine in the tavern while I was drinking my sadness away. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family in their grief and rob them blind. Elaine used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of monster. Elaine Dufont took my... Don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova, a sister to Nelsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? With Nilsine dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? And if not, may she drown in her own tears. I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine too. Just coat your weapon with it. Then, you get the idea. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. The Thalmor ambassador, Ellenwyn, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Ellenwyn's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Sounds good. Be careful.
still confused about? Maybe did. I made my fortune as a sea captain, but now I'm retired. What? Did you need something? You're just going to stand there gawking? Go away. You're starting to frighten me. my good hammer no
Come on in. 
Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Can't a man drink in peace? I'm gonna keep this short, because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well, you know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Remember, Sabjorn will be eaten. Yes. And make it look bad. I'm so hungry. What news? Is Elaine? Thank you. And I heard about Nilsine. I'll never forget you. You're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Very well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. But it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. You must understand, if Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. They'll never think to check it. Who in their right mind would hide inside? Now go, before they meet and report back to me with whatever you learn. Go, quickly, hide in the... Often before Cicero and the traitor meet.
we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. What about you? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor oh, Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises. When silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. A signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> Now, back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! 
The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrude, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss that further.